Four long years. The minimum of time that a president will spend time in the Oval Office. That's if it's only one term. A president has two terms, meaning that the maximum time can be eight years. Still, one year, two years, three days, or two months. That's a long amount of time for someone to be in control of you, to make your decisions, to tell you what's right and what's wrong. This is why voting should be a necessary, um, a necessary um, thing that everybody that's over the age of 18 and are illegally, uh, that are legally allowed to vote should be out at the polls on November 4th. This means that sometimes you might have to vote outside your party because every, every each time the party may have different beliefs and the candidate might be indifferent to what you believe or what the party as a whole believes. I am a 17-year-old African-American male that is about to be enrolled in attending college in the near time future within the United States. I want to an old office that has my best interests as heart. My best interests are as African-American male or as a college student that's gonna have a lot of moments. By raising hands, how many guys want to have a specific candidate office before I can get my speech? You guys know y'all want office? Y'all yeah, not rookies? <laughs> in, this, in this speech, the examination of both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton on an unbiased note will be told. I will say, I will only include facts and statistics and not anything opinion. Donald Trump is the candidate for the Republican Party and believes that he will be the best 45th president of these United States. Donald Trump is a very smart man and businessman. He has made billions of dollars. He decided that on June 16th to go run for presidency. Donald Trump has zero history in politics, but what he does have is extensive 35 plus years in the, in the field of business. He has run many businesses, some successful, some not, but he, at the end of the day, he has been a great impact in the business world and real estate world. He has made a lot of money. He has been the boss of a lot of people, and this is not his first day at the rodeo. Donald Trump has no type of filter, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, which means that he has honesty. Donald Trump has strong feelings and beliefs. We want a strong person in office. Trump believes that women should not be allowed to get abortions whether she's one day pregnant or four months pregnant. Donald Trump has high expectations for taxes and believes that corporation taxes should be cut down drastically. He believes that by doing this, the company will be allowed to create more jobs for the underclass people. With these, with, with just some of his promises, he plans to keep all of them, and he believes that he'll make America great again. Hillary Clinton is the primary Democratic candidate who plans to become the first female president and 45th president of the United States as well. Hillary Clinton has both a lot of politics and business leadership from her background in both of the fields. She has been in politics for years. She went to Yale Law School where she was a children's defense, children defense attorney in Massachusetts. She has served as the first lady of Arkansas because her husband was Bill Clinton. She had also became the first lady of the United States. Well, and she was in office. She focused on children and education. Later, later on, after she was out of office with her husband, she took an initiative to be the first woman to hold the first first the first first lady to hold a um, political um, office, which was the senator for New York City. Only 16 months after. So she has great determination and innovation. And after serving there for eight years, Barack Obama asked her to become his Secretary of State, which is another big thing. It's like the two other things the president. Hillary Clinton has also made huge promises to continue to make America the best it can be. She, she has promised to expand LGBTQ rights. She has promised to increase the amount of education and early childhood. She had also made a promise to give time and money to diseases such as HIV, autism, and Alzheimer's. And last but not least, Clinton has made a promise 
that she will keep all her promises when she be elected into office. Now that I have told you only factual information for both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, I want to let all the juices out of the audience flow through. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now so I have two questions. My first question though is, what are your likes and dislikes of either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? Donald Trump is racist. And he's a